Uh, hello everybody, welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles, and uh, I hope uh, finding good spirits and shape at this point, and uh, now we're in uh, Carson City, and we got a load of Swiss brown cows on here, and we're taking them to Tonopa, so we can get a look at those chorus girls in there. Yeah, they're in there. Wait a minute. That looks... They don't look, uh... Too, like, too much like Swiss brown cows. Huh. What the heck is going on there? Maybe it's the light. Hey, it look like Holsteins. We'll find out soon enough when we get them out. It's a little early in the morning and kind of drizzly. Uh, <laughs> we'll see what we got there. Uh, let's see. Let's get this uh, show on the road. Hop inside here. Yeah. Well, let's do this. So, you probably recognize the uh, FLX 359 here, and Bart's uh, Wilson Silver Star. Z-Mod's 3406B. Yeah, I'm seriously considering uh, getting pink as 389, just to check it out. I guess I'll look at a few videos on it first and see what I think. I like his trailers. Like, I think it does pretty good trailers. And I'd like to uh, put a skin on his Mac step deck. There's no his Mac sliding. Uh, I can't remember what it's called now. But uh, I've had it for a long time, and well, I've just never done anything with it, because I guess I'm spoiled for choices. I got so much stuff that uh, I just never know which way to jump. And I got this seat awful far back. Both those guys are turning. Looks like the sun's going to come out here. Let's see if we can get a look in the trailer here. Oh, the trees are making it odd. Man, those sure look like Holsteins to me. Huh. Oops. I should switch this to the other screen. It'll tell us what the load is. I'll do that once we get the uh, other way here. Cows, but let's see if we can get to the other screen here. Oh, it says Swiss brown cows on the manifest, so better pay attention to the map. I don't have the navigator turned on. I guess we could always look for signs for Tonopa.
some nuts back there, girls. We're about to go around the corner. Oh. Yeah, I'm really, uh, really enjoying this uh, change of pace with this new California. And uh, now I've got the uh, the new edition of the Reforma map on here, which doesn't have any of the Sierra Nevada changes in it, the California and whatnot. But I do need to get around and explore some of that too and see what's new in it. So we may find ourselves south of the border here pretty quick. Let's see what's going on down there. In terms of changes. He's added a bunch of new stuff down there. Yeah, it's going to be good. And I, I guess uh, the Great America thing is progressing and um, I'm kind of tempted to just use one of my 144 profiles, maybe this one. And uh, put all the maps that aren't broken back in it and see what we get. Might be uh, a little bit, uh, you know, informative. Find out what's wor working, what doesn't. I imagine these betas, I think they usually go, what, a month? So, you know, maybe five weeks. So if this one went five weeks, it would be the end of May. And uh, I'm sure all the other, everybody's going to be caught up and uh, we'll be on to whatever the next big event is going to be in terms of what comes in the next beta after that. So I would look for things the uh, company's releasing. SCS that is, uh, in terms of more changes to the gameplay or whatever, maybe DX12, can only hope, so, we'll see, let's get outside and have a look at this truck, oh, a little bit of windy here, and we want to head on to that guy, the, uh, you'll notice the 24.5s are back on it, Pretty happy to have those back because I really like that wheel pack. And when I was thinking it was the root of the traction problem, so I'd taken it out of every every uh, profile I had. Needlessly, as it turns out, let's just try the cruise control. Yeah, just goes right away first shot. I'm messing with the pedals. get a run on the, uh, uh, what the heck is that called again? Hmm. West of Denver, from Denver to Grand Junction. I would make a pretty good video. Yeah, that would be, oh, wait a minute. Yep, left turn. I kind of had a sneaky suspicion that was going to come up. That's why you use a voice navigator. <laughs> Driving outside the truck. She keeps you in the game. Now, I don't think there's another turn off before Tonopa. But if the Sierra Nevadas in uh, reformist estimation includes um, if that includes uh, uh, Tonopa and area then this will be the default SCS Tonopa and I 
haven't been through it in a while. Although, wait a minute. Well, that's not true. We took that uh, second trip in that TK360. Or was it the first trip? That was to Tonopah. That trailer is a, a hoot. I forgot in that uh, last video of that trailer where we had the 386,000 pound train or locomotive that uh, there's a file that you're supposed to include that's called no damage. And what the point of that is, is as you saw, we got run into your rear end a couple times by semi trucks at lights and wherever. And the fact that they can't gauge the size of the trailer leads to problems. So there's a, uh, you know, we got that one hit right in uh, before we got anywhere in, uh, oh, where was that? We were at uh, Gillette and 41% uh, damage. So what, it, what the mod does is it uh, eliminates the damage. So if you get hit like that, it's not going to ruin your day. And I, I forgot to have that in there, but when I did get there and got the thing unloaded, I think I cut the video uh, short because I didn't get it into the parking area. Well, it was impossible. It, it, rec it wasn't long enough, an area. So... Uh, what I did was um, then that one. I just went around the whole yard. Uh, and by the time I came back around to the entrance again, uh, it gave me the easy parking option. So, and uh, we weren't late, and the cargo wasn't damaged. We got an excellent. So, sorry about leaving you guys hanging like that, but. Um, it, uh, yeah, I just, you know, in the interest of brevity, I had to keep the video to a reasonable length. But it all ended well. No damage. Proper points, the whole thing. Yeah, this FLX, uh, such a good truck. The uh, work they did on it is amazing. I'll see if uh, when we're done here, uh, this shouldn't be a very long trip. I'll uh, hop out and we'll take a look at those fuel tanks. Just see the uh, how nice they're, nicely they're done. So the load is, uh, the cattle, uh, or sorry, the load weight is 44,000. Just in case you're wondering. The 24.5 wheel pack on the trailer too. hop back in here in case I think we have to go all the way through town yeah it looks like it uh, through town on the left up ahead somewhere yeah this is uh a little different than uh, the Reforma Tonopa. Tom Lorry chatting away at us. I had intended to re enable it, but I just, yeah, slipped my mind. 
like a lot of things. on that sign back there, that's uh, a reforma thing that doesn't exist in the FCS map, so this is, uh, I guess, where the reforma starts right here. sweeping it up. What's he doing? I don't know. He's trying to get on full time anyway. Maybe he escaped from somewhere. <laughs> Alright. Where do they need it? Oh, that should be pretty straightforward. Yeah, I want to do some uh, turnpike double flat decks here soon, too. So, yeah, I just really love that trailer. I just get an itch to do it all the time, but it's uh, yeah, just trying to mix it up, get a little everything going here. Oh, I turned in way too far. I'll bring the back end of the trailer out here to make it easier for ourselves. Yeah, I like these, uh, the 24.5s. I also like, um, or sorry, I got the uh, heavy ones, the Alcoa heavy number one on the front and the 10 hole Alcoa on the back of the truck and on the trailer. But uh, I also like, uh, certain trucks look really good with their, I think they just call them Alcoa one and Alcoa two. They're kind of neat. I like the, uh, let me get this straight. Number two, I think, on the front axle. And the number one on the driver. 
looks kind of cool. I'll have to uh, set up a truck for that scenario and uh, I'll let you know when I do what it is. That is not Swiss brown cows. I hate to tell you, those are Holsteins. Well, these guys are going to be disappointed. <laughs> They're not getting what they asked for or what they uh, requ requested. So here, let's have a look at this uh, these fuel tanks. Let's see down. Let's have this detail on here. And the welding. Uh, take welding on there and then up on the uh, fuel filler area they got the uh, setting unit uh, wire there there's a ground wire it looks like a ground and the sending unit there's two wires there which is correct so the center one is uh, going to be the for the sending unit and the other one be the ground so that's cool and uh, look at this nice uh, gas cap wanted to get an angle on it. I think we can get a better look at the one on the rear tank. Uh, it's the same same scenario. If we get in on an angle, you can see the, uh, the script. Yeah, really nicely done. And the uh, underside of the truck is pretty cool. Like you can you know, get under there and have a good look at some of the what's going on. Tip is kind of nicely detailed. All the uh, air lines. Let's see, we got fuel lines. Yeah, well, we have them going to the tank. Yeah, there we go. Fuel lines going out to the tank. The front tank up there. Very cool. Let's get out of here. Get these gals off the truck to. These guys have to think of getting the wrong load. Oops, I have to put the brakes on. Let's see. Oh, they're happy. Excellent. <laughs> Not often you get to deliver the wrong load and still get an excellent. Anyway, that was awesome. Nice little jaunt. Started out rainy, but turned out nice. So, uh, as always, I appreciate you following along, and we uh, just hit a sort of what looked like it took a little while to get to 450 subscriptions, but hit, hit it today, so that's kind of cool. So, but uh, yeah, it's uh, tooth and claw. Let's try and get our way up there. So, if you haven't, um, please subscribe, and if you have, thanks very much, and uh, give it a like or a thumbs up, and it'll help. Um, uh, YouTube figure that more people may want to see it. If, if nobody likes it, then they're just going to go, yep, uh, keep on trying, dude. Which, of course, I'm going to do. But <laughs> anyway, take care. And as always, uh, appreciate you following along. And bye for now.